Good day and peace be with you. Today is Monday, the 8th of April 2024. It's day 99 of 2024. Let us pray. Dear Lord God, today we come to you with a grateful heart as we begin the week. In Colossians 3.15 it says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful. Lord Father, we have woken up this morning being thankful. Dear Lord Father, there is nothing greater than praising you for what you have done to us. We thank you, Father, for your spiritual blessings that you so lovingly and graciously bestow upon us. Father, we continue and quote Ephesians 1.3 where it says, Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. As we set out today, dear Lord Father, we ask you to continue to protect us, strengthen us, encourage us, Lord, to be thankful each and every day of our lives for what you have given to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our reading from Reflection today continues from the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verses 1 to 18. And the theme for Reflection today is, Be warned of forbidden sexual practices. Let us listen to the word. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, I am the Lord your God, who must not do as they do in Egypt, where you used to live, And you must not do as they do in the land of Canaan, where I am bringing you. Do not follow their practices. You must obey my laws and be careful to follow my decrees. I am the Lord your God. Keep my decrees and laws, for the person who obeys them will live by them. I am the Lord your God. No one is to approach any close relative to have sexual relations. I am the Lord. Do not dishonor your father by having sexual relations with your mother. She's your mother. Do not have relations with her. Do not have sexual relations with your father's wife that will dishonor your father. Do not have sexual relations with your sister, either your father's daughter or your mother's daughter, whether she was born in the same home or elsewhere. Do not have sexual relations with your son's daughter or your daughter's daughter that would dishonor you. Do not have sexual relations with the daughter of your father's wife. Born to your father, she's your sister. Do not have sexual relations with your father's sister. She's your father's close relative. Do not have sexual relations with your mother's sister. She's your mother's close relative. Do not dishonor your father's brother by approaching his wife to have sexual relations. She's your aunt. Do not have sexual relations with your daughter-in-law. She's your son's wife. Do not have relations with her. Do not have sexual relations with your brother's wife. That would dishonor your brother. Do not have sexual relations with both a woman and her daughter. Do not have sexual relations with either her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter. They are close relatives. That is wickedness. Do not take your wife's sister as a rival wife and have sexual relations with her while your wife is living. Here ends our reading for today. Thanks be to God. And remember to share the good word, share the news with others. Have a blessed day. Amen.